Hi, it's Karen at RT Systems, and I need to get some documentation together on the TYT TH9800. This is an interesting radio. It's a quad band radio, but it's two flavors of quad band, 10 meters, 6 meters, 2 meters. In both of them, that's only three, 220 in one and 440 in the other. We've combined this into one programmer. And I want to show you some things about it because the other day when the question came up about it, I didn't know. And now I have all the details that I will document here. This is information we all need. When you install the programmer, the TH9800 programmer from RT Systems, you have two meters and 440. If I try to enter 220, it's an invalid frequency. And you go, but wait, I have a 220 radio that I wanted to put 440 into. Well, number one, that's not going to work. And I'll show you that in a minute. The other thing, when I do file new, I immediately get a 2 meter 440 file. This is the default. Now, for those of you who have the 220 radio, Doing the initial get data from the radio is critical for this one. So now I'm going to do communications and get data from radio. I have the 220 radio hooked up and it's going to read it. And now that it has finished, notice I have 6 meters, 10 meters, 2 meters, and 220. And now if I try to put in a 440 frequency, it's an invalid frequency. What will trip you up with this is you do File New. Now I'm 2 meters and 220, but why can't I put in 440? I know this radio comes in a 440 version. Your buddy's brought his radio over to the house and wants you to program it for him. This one's trapped in the 440 world, and if I try to send it to this radio, Remember, I've got the 220 radio hooked up to it. So if I were saving this for my friend's radio, I'd make sure I named it so I knew that it was a 440 file. But let's go back to my example. Your friend brings his radio over, and it's a TH9800, and wow, you've got the programmer. But he's got the 440 version of it. So what do you do to be able to help him? The first thing you do, help and check for updates and complete that process. Make sure you're all the way up to date. Now we're going to take an untitled file, and I know it says 2 meters and 220. You do communications, get data from radio, and tell it to read. You do not have to do this every time, but you must do it the first time you have installed. If you do a new installation on a new computer, if your computer crashes and you reinstall, if you do a firmware upgrade on your radio, those are the kind of things that then require that you read the radio again. Now I have 2 meters and 440, and I can go back to this file and communications and send data to radio because I have the 440 radio hooked up to the computer. I realize all of these stay untitled, but like I said, when I do a save as here, I want to say that this is for 40 megahertz first file. And this is my 220 megahertz first file. And this one's just extra. But we're going to say save as.
The other thing I want to show you, file new. Got something new. Remember we did file new a minute ago and we just got a 2 meter 440 file. Now I get to choose which radio am I working on. So I have the 440 radio hooked up. I don't feel like changing them again. Let's do a brand new file. Let's put a list of frequencies in here. And communications and send data to radio and OK. And it's on the way. And no, this is not a trick. This is taking things one step at the time. That's all we're doing. Okay, and that was my 440 radio. Okay, and now I have changed back to my 220 radio, and I'm going to close this. I don't want to save that last one. But remember, I saved all those others with real specific names. So we're going to run this again. 440 megahertz file. File, open. I got my 220 radio hooked up. Some of these messages you see, you may not see when you're working with it. I'm a test machine. Okay, and this is 220. There's no 440 in there. It says 220 right here. And communication send data to radio. And no, I did not read from this radio when I opened. The programmer. All I did was open the correct file for my 220 radio and send it to the radio. So you go out to an event where a bunch of people have got these radios and y'all are programming two meters, but you still got to get the file to match. You just go back and forth between your files. It doesn't matter who brings you which radio, you just go back and forth between your files and program both of them. As long as you have done a get data from one of each. Get the idea? It's all doable. It's all possible. We're making it as easy as we can, given all the parameters of these radios. So remember, if you think you can, or you think you can't, you're right. And if you have questions, call tech support and we'll help you. We'll be glad to. 73s.